Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2016 with AC Milan, and this is the second episode, we're six games into the series, about to play the seventh, let's go over how we're doing so far. Now, the league table, seventh, not bad. Um, we are eight points off the top, we're of course we're not going for the title, um, I don't think this team is quite um, good enough yet for the, for the title. It's a good team, but it's not a title winning team. So um, if we're apparently meant to be getting a Europa League spot, that's what the board wants, I'm going to go with that. If we can get the Champions League in the top three, that would be brilliant. But how has the team done? Well, it's not bad, we're actually unbeaten. However, we've had four draws, which isn't great. Um, We've been scoring goals, and let me tell you now, Kazuki Honda has been phenomenal. But too many draws, still conceding goals. So we saw Sassuolo in the last game. We got our first win on the board against Udinese. Carlos back, unfortunately, the Siglio got injured. I might uh, teach him to stop complaining. So uh, he took the throw in here. Uh, Bonaventura has been magnificent as well. He's also had a very good start. Oh, sorry, not Bonaventura, sorry. Uh, Bertolacci, he's been good. So a lovely goal from Baca. Sorry, I don't know how I got them two mixed up. Uh, he's actually been... Um, Bonaventura's been a little bitch as well. Um, oh, actually, he's calmed down now. He he was slightly concerned, but um, I think I said something in the press and that's settled him down. And then we got another win. So, you know, pretty good start here. 2-0 victory over at Atalanta. I was really worried here we were going to lose it because... Atalanta are a pretty decent team. They've got some half decent players. Um, they've got Gabriel Paletta. I think he is, he is actually on loan from us, isn't he? <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Um, but Alejandro Gomez missed a penalty here. Zapata, who hasn't been great, it has to be said, um, with uh, the, the uh, penalty giveaway. And then here's Gomez's penalty straight at Diego Lopez. I mean, that was pretty shocking. Um, but before that, Carlos Baca had actually put us in the lead. Uh, Ricky Alvarez, who's had a brilliant start, it has to be said, a lovely little flick header there from Baca. And that boy is on fire, let me tell you. Fantastic play. And then Kasugi Honda, as I say, he's been in magnificent form. I mean, that is just Honda summed up right there. What a goal. He actually scores one better, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, then we had, this was when things started to go a bit... Mm. Now, with 1-1 uh, one -one against Verona. And 40, um, unfortunately... Uh, we actually didn't score. Uh, Romulo had scored for them, and one of our own player, one of their own players, actually scored their own goal. So here's Antonelli getting forward. Balotelli played, and I think that was the problem. He was absolutely atrocious, and although we caused a bit of mayhem in the box, um, he's managed to get a goal there. He wasn't very good overall in the game. In fact, if you look, six point four, he is about as good as he was for Liverpool, which isn't a surprise. But considering how good Balotelli was on FM fifteen last year, I mean, he was a beast. On this game, he was absolutely phenomenal last year. It's been a complete turnaround this time, so a bit unfortunate. Speaking of which, 3 3 against Lazio. Now, we really should have won this. Brav Hell or Brav Hyde scored in the last minute. 93rd. Uh, Backer scored the penalty. Here's Bonaventura from a Montalivo free kick. Zapata to Bonaventura, and that was a lovely goal. I think. What was that? Uh, that was. I think that was 2-1, I thought it was actually 2 oh sorry, 1-1, one, one, I beg your pardon and then Baca scores what I thought was the winner here, Honda corner, Baca rising in there, going straight in, smashes it into the back of the net uh, and unfortunately Brav Hyde here as you can see, he will score a 93rd minute winner, look at that, 30 seconds to go Diego Lopez pushes it right to me I think he should be doing better there to be honest he really should be doing better and then Sampdoria at home Again, conceding 78th minute. Here's Honda. Watch this for a goal. This is uh, this is probably the best goal I've seen on FM16 so far, at least on my saves. Check this one out. Lovely pass for starters to Bonaventura here. Polly knocked it onto him. Oh, I say that is absolutely wonderful. And unfortunately, um, I don't know why. It, oops, dear. I don't know why it keeps going back to the fixture screen. I can't go back to the uh, match screen here. But here's Ada's goal. In the 78th minute, again, it's kind of disappointing. So, again, I've had a minor tweak of the tactics. It, it does seem to be working now. There is something. It proves to me that there is something definitely here. I mean, look at that. Abate, how good has he been so far? He's been terrific. Unfortunately, um, he let the pass straight in there. So, we're going to against Fiorentina next. So, um, I've had a minor tweak. So, I've pulled us back slightly deeper. Um, and I've also... We've done one thing here, which apparently, I'm not cheating, apparently low crosses are a bit OP at the moment. If you put a low crosses in 
with two inside forwards apparently are not cheating, but apparently it's a bit OP. That's not cheating. I'm not cheating. That's just... I, I keep reinforcing that idea, like some sort of psychological mind trick. But no, apparently, the, the, if you have that with inside forwards, you can apparently get an extra 10% out of them or something. I don't know. Um, so I think we're going to stick with this team. Although Alvarez... It's difficult because Bonaventura has been quite good. They've all been decent so far. I think I might play better. Yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Let's let's go with that. Actually, no. I'm, I've changed my mind. Completely changed my mind. Let's go with that. So against Fiorentina, who've had a particularly bad start. In fact, Baka is a is a bloody poacher, which I didn't want. I wanted them as a, set, a complete forward. There we go. Um, let's like change. Make sure everyone's in the right. Sorry, he should be a roaming playmaker. Sorry. I'm Totally, for some reason I forgot to change. So we'll go with that. Everton's happy. Let's start the game. So it'd be nice for us to get our first win in like four games here, especially at home against the struggling Fiorentina team, as Blazikovsky playing for them, of course. But it's not been too bad so far. Oh, and Romagnoli, what can he do here? He's still got hold of it. Honda to whip a ball in. Nope, just stopped completely by Rodriguez. Not quite sure what happened there. It's, um, it's been encouraging so far, obviously. It's it's going to take a little bit of time for them to learn the tactic and everything like that, as I said before. But the signs are pretty good. They haven't lost yet. Here's Bertolacci. Good save. Honda on the follow-up. And they see that. That is what Diego Lopez should have done against uh, Lazio. Fortunately, he didn't. And they scored. So there you go. There's a the difference. Right, Jacob Blazikowski. I like how I can say Blazikowski fine, but then I see, like, sus See, I can't even say it now. Sassuolo. I've probably even butchered that, to be honest. Um, you know, that, that, that's, it's not being able to read. It's being able to know how to pronounce it. See, that's the difference with some of them names here. Right, here's Abate. He just gets forward so brilliantly well. Honda. There's Bertolacci. Abate. Honda, look at this. Working wonderfully. And they're just overplaying it. We're going a bit Arsenal-like at the moment. Completely overplaying, trying to walk it in, etc., etc. Bertolacci again. Oh, that's nice. And that's still nice. Oh, oh, very close. Very close indeed. Lovely little um, twinkle toes there from Bertolacci. Nearly gives us the lead. Could be a little bit better on the finish. Zapata, now I'm going to get, I'm going to watch him closely and see how he does because the last few games he has been a little bit wanting, but I know Christian Zapata's a good player, so I'm just going to wait and see how he does in this game as well. Oh, there we go. It's a good, oh, it's De Jong with the block. I thought it was Zapata, but... Not a bad start this game at all, just generally. So two teams try and go for it. I, was, I mean, as you saw there, um, Fiorentina are 18th, not doing particularly well. I, I can't give a reason why. Um, I don't know. If, I've not checked their fixtures. I don't know if they've just had a really tough start or um, you know, if they've just been playing poorly or, or what have you. But um, for whatever reason, they're at the bottom at the moment uh, or near the bottom, and it's our job to um, punish them <laughs> for that. Right, here's Nigel De Jong, who unfortunately, as you saw earlier, I didn't mention it, but he got sent off against uh, Verona. So he served his suspension, which I think, yeah, that did happen. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I just thought, right, SI, right, still hasn't been fixed, this ball tracking. And it's a very minor thing, but I don't know if it's maybe it's something to do with my graphics card, maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know why that's still in the game. I could understand why that was in the beta, but uh, it's not. It's still in the full game. And there's Rossi, and fucking hell, Fiorentino scored. All right, we're going to have to... Um, I'm probably panic panicking here. Let's try that. I'm, I'm probably completely panic changing here, but uh, not a very good start at all, actually, now that's happened. And here they go again. Come on. Right, they have a chance for a break here. Look how quickly they've got their players back, though. Very quick. A lot quicker than those. Polly. Polly. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Whatever. <laughs> you know that guy in the middle begins with P. Right. Barte. Lovely. Take the player off. Take um, take the ball off the player there. Here's Bertolacci. He's having a lot of success at the moment in the midfield. A lot of space. Here's back out. Oh, lovely. That is fantastic. Really good finish. Goalkeeper perhaps should have done a bit better. But that's a really nice goal and that's 1-1. One, one. Maybe I just needed to be a little bit more positive. Because the, the, the natural inclination is, when you're talking about Italian football, is it's a very defensive game. And you naturally think, if you try and be a bit expansive and a bit adventurous and stuff, you're just going to get bowled over by this strong Italian defence. And that's probably one of the reasons why... I mean, it was partly because... Well, the Roma team, I don't know, FM13, why it didn't work. And it was partly because 
Roma squad at the time. Bear in mind, it was in the 30s. It was in the 2030s. It was made up of entirely regens, I think, at that point. Um, and, I mean, it was partly because they weren't very good. To be blunt. They just weren't very good. Polly is injured again. And now he's... God, I didn't even have a chance to take him off. Right, okay. Uh, we're going to bring on... Uh, I'm going to bring on Montalivo, the captain. And we're going to put him as an advanced playmaker. Alongside Bertolacci. So the uh, inside forwards aren't being as good as I thought. <laughs> I've been trying them and Honda has been great so far, but maybe this is he's, he's doing off... Um, we're using the offside trap here, if you're wondering. Um, we're due a... He's due a bad game, so... <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, they're certainly getting on top again. I don't like it. Here's a chance for a backer breakaway. Look at this. It's two, it's one-on-one. -on -one. And he... How did he cock it up? It was one-on-one! -on -one. Oh, that's unforgivable! It was a riot at his mercy, right? Can we still fashion something? Montalivo with a wasted shot. Oh, that's disappointing from Carlos Backer. If he beats his man, I don't know if he beats his man, he's run, he's right on through and goal, but that's disappointing. Gotta do better there. Right. I'm still a bit concerned that they're having too many chances. I'm gonna say stick to positions. I mean, look for overlaps actually doing pretty damn well for the most part. Um hmm. there is something that is causing us to concede too many goals at the moment. We're just leaking. I don't know if it's just the quality of players or what, but it's disappointing. I'm, I'm you know what? I'm going to bring Alex on for Zapata because he's really starting to annoy me now. Zapata, he's had far too. Many. I don't know, um, Romagnoli. There's not been particularly great either, but Zapata has been consistently poor over a longer period of time now. He's been pretty much poor since the season started. Romagnoli has gone under the radar a bit, so um, I'm willing to give him a bit more of an opportunity. Not to mention he's 22 years old. I think. Right, here's a chance to get it forward. Unless it's going to go straight back to Fiorentina and I can't see who's got the ball because the bar's in the way. There we go. I would have thought they'd fix that for the new... I mean, I complained about that about a year ago when FM15 came out. I was like, I can't see the action, the thing's in the way. And they still haven't got around to fixing it. Well, it's not fixed, it's not a problem. It's just that... Oh, goalkeeper was in terrible position there. And I don't know, I think Romagnoli got a touch on it. Could have gone around the goalkeeper there, to be honest, or put the ball around the goalkeeper. He was in such a bad position. Oh, look, goalkeeper, you've got to get that. Good grief. They just stand there like melons and just let the ball bounce. Who is that to? <laughs> just literally throws out of play. I know he's trying to get the action started quicker and everything, and it's probably what I've told him to do, but, I mean, come on, you look for your own man. Right, it's still not working. Um, I don't know what to put, to be honest. I'm going to try fairly wide. I'm going to move out just a little bit wider at the moment just so they can get into the game a bit more right here's Bertolacci and Tonelli who does like to maraud forward as well as Abate obviously as we've seen numerous times already here's De Jong Salivo, here you go Honda straight into the game now he's actually on the ball a lot more this is nice, oh, and he's played in Bonaventura straight at the goalkeeper again not a very good finish, straight at the goalkeeper and Backer is there at the back post De Jong missed it but that is ninth goal of the season. 2-1. So we returned it round here. I keep clicking on the team shape rather than the damn mentality. We're just going to push that back ever so slightly to standard now so we're not um, <coughs> going overboard. And probably due a change as well. Make another one here. Um, everyone seems to be doing okay. How's Alex been since he came on 6.8? That's fine. Uh, not sure. Honda is due a bad game, but the thing is, as we saw just a minute ago with the goal against, I can't remember who it was even against now, uh, in fact, no, I'm not going to make another change, I've had two, sorry, I must have, I thought I would only made one so far, I've actually made two. So here we go, chance to get forward again, nice pass by Alex, who has now been booked, it's good to see, <laughs> I guess, not. Here's Backer, back to Abate, right, if we can get one more, that might finish it off, Montalivo, back to Abate, cross the ball in, now it's got to go in. Nigel de Jong, <laughs> dear me, what's he doing up there? Right, I'm going to need uh, some player instructions on Nigel de Jong because I don't like him being there. Uh, don't not get further forward. Shoot less often, certainly. Hold position. Um, 
and more tighter, I think, I guess. Just to keep them just back a bit. Right, better latch. Apologies if the space bar's quite loud. <laughs> back at, ooh, is he going to take him on? Oh, I thought just for a second when the players, they look, they get really close together. It looks like uh, that sometimes can be a penalty. Right, I still clicked. Cl That's a late achievement if I've ever saw one. I guess that goal may have just won goal of the month or goal of the week or something. Right, we're going to make one more ooh, corner, but we're going to make one more change. Um, we are going to bring on... Hmm. I, I feel as if I should take off Backer, but he's on a hat-trick and players generally don't like it, and I don't really ever want to risk, because players seem even more twitchy with you this time. You know what? No, I'm not, I'm not going to change the shape or anything. Let's just let's just see this one out. Oh, and Romagnoli. Right off the line there. So defender numbers. We've got two players back. <laughs> We've got five or so minutes, though. Six minutes, if six or seven minutes, if you include added time. So you know, look at this. Counter-attack. That's probably my fault for not setting... Oh, my God. Oh, Benavent, you're it. Right, okay. Can take... I still click on that one. Why? Okay, we're going to go deeper now. Waste time. Uh, dribble less. Let's do that. Okay. Now, corner here for Fiorentina. Let's try not throw away a lead this time. And keep hold of it. I feel like watching Liverpool again. Just can't keep leads. Right, so yeah, about five minutes if you include added time. Will likely be three minutes. Oh, and again, just lazy giving the ball away. Oh, let's run out. Throw. I don't know what happened there. So two minutes of added time. That's... Surprisingly short. This is nice. I mean, you can see there is something there. It's just um, to give it a bit of time, really. All right, backer. He's on a hat trick. Oh my god, he is just unbelievable. Ten goals. It's just turned October. He is absolutely unbelievable. Three one. Once again, it's a Carlos backer hat trick. Look, I know this guy's good, but my god, <laughs> he's on. Fire right now. Unbelievable. Right, Polly, well, he's been... Look how many injuries he's had already this season. I've probably been working... Look at that. He's had chest injuries, had a bruised rib, and now he's torn his hamstrings, so he's going to be out for two or three months. Fantastic. Right, um, yeah. Happy with the league uh, standing, because now we're fourth. And, again, the title, top, top two. Well, top, top two. First place I'm not particularly bothered to buy, and I need to get rid of that message. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, back are now seven goals in the league. It's not bad, is it? I mean, we're doing quite well. Doing quite well. So, I will join you, maybe, sort of at the... Hmm, let's see, what's a good fixture? Because I know the Inter the Milan derby is uh, near Christmas here, 13th. Of course, we've got the Christmas break, which um, I actually thought was considerably longer than that. I thought they, like, took... I don't know why. I think I think it's the way the press report it. It's like, those dirty foreigners, they don't appreciate Christmas. They take the whole of December off. <laughs> it's actually only a few weeks. That's not too bad. That's absolutely fine. I, I would have... Hmm. Okay, I think what we'll probably do is we might show you maybe the Roma game, and then we might do... do you fancy a double header, Inter and Juventus. I think that might be a good one. We'll try and maybe do a double header if we can. So I'll try and play all of these games... I know it's two months, but let me off. Um, and we'll come back for the Inter game, and then the Juventus game. Then we'll have the winter break, and we'll see where we are around the half, uh, halfway period. So that's good. Right, thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying the series, please do give it a like, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.